Hey, what's going on guys here? It's your boy Matt. Thanks for checking out my video and uh welcome back. I just want to say uh welcome back to my first ever video. As you guys normally know, I only do mobile stuff, uh, so it's kind of surprising and kind of uh, exciting to kind of switch off on, on uh, other platforms such as PCs today. As you can see, today I'm bringing you guys a top 5 list of great first person shooter games that you can play on your PC. Keep in mind that these 5 games that we're going to be looking at today are out and are available to download at this moment right now. So no waiting around for a game to come out. So if you want to wait around, I'm going to drop another top 5 list of awesome free PC games that are upcoming up in 2017 if you want to watch that make sure you get and subscribe so you won't miss it i'll be really awesome and uh make sure you leave a like down below you know it's, it's it's in my blood to ask for like now each and every time in the video but you don't have to leave a like to be honest <laughs> And before we actually start through the real list, I just want to say Team Fortress and Dirty Bomb are not going to be included in the list because uh, you already know of, of these if you're actually watching this video. I mean, everybody knows it's just way too overpopular and uh, it's not going to be in this list. So anyways, guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and get to this list. At number five, we have Planet Side 2. Planet Side 2 is a free-to-play, massively multiplayer online first-person shooter released in 2012, which most of you guys are probably going to say is terrible because all old games are terrible and uh, this game was released in 2012, but believe it or not, this game is actually not like that. And uh, on Steam, GameSpot, and IGN, this game earned a 9 out of 10 rating, which is pretty fucking awesome if you ask me. Not just about the rating, but if you play this game for yourself, you would definitely just see why this game deserves to be on this top 5 list. So enough with the statistic, moving on to the real shit. Planet Side 2 is basically a sequel to Planet Side if you haven't played that one yet definitely check it out it's amazing and uh planet side 2 hundreds of players fight across three continents and players are put together to compete and take each other's bases once those bases are taken which can be looted and those resources can be used to buy vehicles and customize this weapon customize your characters and various different stuff what I really like about this game is the huge map that they have and when you get close to the enemy, literally the bullet goes through them and slashes them in half. It's just fucking amazing. I like those type of games, blood everywhere and shit. <laughs> I like that shit. Just like every other game, Planet Side 2 has 5 classes of weapon. One of them being the Sniper Infiltrator obviously and uh, they also have classes for, for clothing such as the max suit and all that great shit. Uh, this game is totally amazing and very fun. If you're playing, it's one of those games that if you're playing it, you're not even gonna realize what the fuck is going on outside so you should definitely check it out at number four we have black light retribution you can never make a list of top five first person shooter games for pc that are available to play on pc without including black light retribution this game is based around a futuristic era and in terms of gameplays and the looks for a free pc game the graphics are just amazing again for a free pc game that you can play without a sense these games offer many customizations such as loadout maps guns many things in this game are included it's just absolutely amazing Bloodlight Retribution was released in 2012. Again, that does not mean shit. This game still probably played better than most titles in 2016. And what I really like about this game is that a few twists that the game has in a unique visual mode and a refreshing take on Cure Strike reward help this game stand out regardless of its own original mode. At number 3, we have Tactical Intervention. Although this game received many bad reviews on Steam, IGN, GameSpot, and all that other site, but I was actually reading the reviews on this game and I was like, damn, this game is really terrible. But something hit me up and uh, I actually just downloaded the game anyway. And uh, once I downloaded the game, I started playing the game and I uh, was amazed by how much playtime I actually put into this game. And uh, like I said, reviews aren't always going to tell you what the game is about. It may be a little bit, but Tactical Intervention is just one of those games that you have to actually download for yourself and try. Of course, you have to download it's free i mean there's no wasting money or anything it's free just download it and try for yourself and see what the fuck is actually wrong with this game or what they're saying about the game be sure right that, that goes for any other games out there you may read terrible reviews on games but what's actually important is you actually download the game by yourself and trying it out to see for yourself you don't have to listen to what anyone else had to say about the game you know so tactical intervention is just one of those games that you have to try that for yourself anyways like a lot of the reviews that i read on this game uh why this game was terrible or use a clone of uh what is it the what's what's that game the popular game that everybody cs go but truly honestly think that tactical intervention provide and a whole new different way of uh first person shooter it gives you a different perspective and this game has a very unique mechanic and the graphics of it it's just absolutely amazing you can deploy you can deploy breaching charges perform drop bias and control hostage situation uh, which is pretty fucking awesome like i said most of this game you're just gonna have to try out for yourself to actually find out what this game is all about i mean it's free why not <laughs> 
anyway moving up to number two we have paladins 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 <laughs> i don't know whatever you want to call it um uh, anyways uh the most reviews are already online a lot of people were saying that this game was just exactly like overwatch and that's right if you don't have 39 dollars 49 dollars to waste on overwatch get this game because why not it's fucking free and it's amazing that just from the graphics the character the way the bullet shoots the uh voice over the narrative this game is just exactly like overwatch i'm not saying that it's an overwatch because most people literally just look at the game if it's a clone they automatically say that it's garbage because it's a clone of this but this game is a clone of overwatch and i think it might actually be even better than overwatch you know <laughs> that's the thing you gotta actually have to try this game by yourself i have i put in a lot of time playing this game anyways in paladin you enter a fantasy world of ancient technologies paladins a team-based shooter with strategy element and deep character customization to a unique collectible card system players can amplify argument character score set of abilities to play exactly how they want to play this game received an amazing reviews on steam 88 percent positive with over 60 freaking 67 000 people review very positive which this game was released in 2016 by the way uh, so very brand new game in a very brand new way in a game where you can expect a lot of people playing this game so you don't have to wait for people to join a uh, freaking server so it's us absolutely amazing and i uh, should definitely check it out the link will be down below in the description And finally dropping that ass down to number one we have warface warface is a, a modern shooter it offers triple a quality and obviously just amazing quality and that is why this game deserves to be at number one not only that but warface offers an amazing co-op experience and daily content in which players can definitely earn and master it not only that but i really like this move where you can press a button you slide along your ass and you earn a bonus point if you kill a player while you're in your ass and it's just it's fucking hilarious and amazing plenty of modes that you can play and earn bonus points to it so you can uh, buy characters and unlock other stuff in the game i love this game so much because it just offers an amazing experience and co-op that just got me really hooked up with this game i will probably be like editing a, a video like this and i will stop editing my video and just hop in a game kill some niggas get back on there and start editing again like it's, this game is just really fucking amazing please give this game a chance and uh considering that this game is absolutely free to play i don't know why not you should not give this game a chance <laughs> anyway guys that's the end of the list if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like down below or a comment if you want to and uh if you subscribe and come back to check on my channel every once in a while that would really be great and just fucking awesome i tried really hard to make this video into what it is right now for you guys to enjoy and uh, what i ask for you in return is just a like and a comment and a subscribe if you want to and make sure you turn on that notification button so you receive every single uh, vi uh notification every time i upload a video uh, that would really help me out and help you guys out to get the best games that you can possibly get and i uh, remember this game is a mobile uh this channel is a mobile channel but i'm looking to change it into something where all gamers can enjoy so if you are a gamer definitely subscribe because uh, you're gonna see a lot of more pc console ps4 ps3 all this good stuff all this videos coming in soon so anyways thank you guys so much for watching as always it's your boy matt hopefully i catch you guys up on my next video i'm signing out